Hello and welcome to our daily reflection, during which we will be thinking about what it means to hold on to the love we have for God. But first, let us pray. Faithful One, whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer, and shape our lives for the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading for today is taken from Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. To the angel of the church in Ephesus write, these are the words of him who holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks among the seven golden lampstands. I know your works, your toil, and your patient endurance. I know that you cannot tolerate evildoers. You have tested those who claim to be apostles but are not, and have found them to be false. I also know that you are enduring patiently and bearing up for the sake of my name and that you have not grown weary. But I have this against you, that you have abandoned the love you had at first. Remember then from what you have fallen, repent and do the works you did at first. If not, I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you repent. Yet this is to your credit. You hate the work of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. To everyone who conquers, I will give permission to eat from the tree of life that is in the paradise of God. She clung to her little yellow lamb as the toys she had grown out of were sorted into a black bin bag. The little yellow lamb was far too precious and much too loved to lose. And yet in time, that same little lamb found its way to the loft, set aside and thought of less as other things crowded in. Time passed, and that little lamb was rediscovered, and the memories came flooding back of something so precious, so dear, and so loved. When I came to faith, it was the overwhelming immensity of God's love for me that first reeled me in. A love that I cherished and needed and that I clung to as my faith grew. God's love was powerful, real and strong. But I don't think I would be alone in admitting that in the toil of everyday life, when the pressure starts to build, it's all too easy sometimes to lose sight of the immensity of that love, to become distracted from the first overwhelming emotion, and for it momentarily to become a memory shelved. For a brief moment, I would like to invite you to think about your journey with God. What is precious to you? about that journey. What do you hold dear? Jesus speaks to the church in Ephesus with great compassion. He acknowledges just how hard they are working. 
He sees the trials and the persecution that they are enduring in his name. And he recognises that despite this, they continue to witness to their faith. But something is missing. Something of that initial passion, excitement and enthusiasm has gone. And it shows. It shows in all that they are doing. And the people around them can see it. And suddenly the actions and the words don't add up. And something of the power and the impact of their message is lost. In that moment, Jesus says to them, guys, come on, remember, remember what this is all about. Remember that first love you had for me. Take a break, find it again in your hearts, retrieve it from the dusty boxes in the loft, and then take it back out into the world again, refueled and revitalized. Because if you don't, the church in Ephesus will cease to be. If we talk about the wonder of God's love, but don't express it in our voices and in our actions, then others will not be able to see the full extent of the impact of God's love on ourselves. If we allow our work and the pressures of life to wear us down and to wear us thin, then we too run the risk of losing that sense of enthusiasm, that sense of calling that first brought us to faith. And the same applies to the church too. As we approach the beginning of Advent, with all the hustle and bustle and preparation that it brings, in that moment when it feels like you are enduring rather than enjoying, Take a moment to go back to that box in the loft, to find that precious thing that you hold so dear in your journey with God, that thing that fuels you, that encourages you, that resources you. And remember, and let God revive you once more for the work of God's kingdom. Amen. May you know God's love and God's blessing in all you do. In the love.